I am Jeb Graff. I am uh, making a video today about this thing right here. This is the Motor Rads Flex Slim. It's upside down. There you go. Focus camera. Damn it. This thing is the device that I'm going to be using to mount my GoPro to my showy RFSR helmet. So I'm going to stick this on the front of this and it's going to allow me to mount my GoPro uh, to my chin instead of down on my handlebar. I don't like cluttering up my handlebar with a bunch of clamps and stuff if I don't have to, because it's a really pretty bright, pretty bike, not a pretty bright. It's a pretty bike. So uh, let's open this box up, see what's in it and see what we need to do to attach it. Let's see what we got. I dropped something already. Uh, we got the device itself. This is the Flex, the Motorrad's um, Flex Slim. This is what's actually going to go on the helmet. Alcohol prep pad, adhesion promoter, an extension joint. And so what this is going to do is hook onto here. And then the GoPro will go onto here. And that gives us the ability to swivel the GoPro back pointing up since when you're riding your chin is pointed down a little bit. So it's going to give you a better camera angle. Uh, and then it comes with some cards. You get this cool get out of jail free card. And then this, it also comes with a mounting instructions card. So I'm not sure. I didn't really plan this video out. And believe it or not, I'm a professional photographer and video maker. Focus camera, damn it. But I didn't plan this one out because I'm really just trying to um, get it done so I can get back to some client work but I thought it was worthwhile to make a video about it uh, because sometimes you want to know before you stick stuff to your precious helmet, what's it going to look like and how's it going to act? So first thing I know I need to do, because I took a long ride earlier, I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab the alcohol pad and give that a good prep wipe. So what I'm doing here is just using the alcohol pad to get the chin of my helmet nice and clean. And um, remember this, this chin mount is pretty long. And so you got to go kind of, kind of far to the sides, make sure you're getting it clean uh, on more than just the chin. All right, so I need to let that completely dry before I go trying to stick anything on. So we'll just speed that part up. All right, so that's looking pretty dry. And uh, the next thing that they tell you to do is to take your Flex Motorrad's Flex Slim and kind of pre uh, mold it to the shape of your helmet before you do any sticking. Uh, they also make sure to tell you get these ends curved in as well, because if they're flat, they're gonna try to spring back out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can kind of get this pre-shaped as they recommend. Got a pre-shape started here, but now I wanna do what they recommended and kind of curve the tips of the ends in a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't try to spring out. They say this is very important according to the video from the QR code. So I think that's that's looking pretty good. I think my next step is going to be to use adhesion promoter, my little Don King. So I got these gloves. They recommend that you use some uh, latex gloves that I'm gonna use when using the adhesion promoter. And they say, if you don't use gloves, just be sure to wash your hands immediately after. Uh, and I'm guessing, because I've already started to open this sucker up, I'm guessing it's because it smells uh, very much like paint thinner or something. I don't know that that's what it is, so don't come at me. Don't go at them. I don't know what adhesion promoter is, but it smells like something you should not inhale. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, that is ripe, my friend. That is not something that you want to inhale too much of. And I'm just going to, oh no, I dropped it. Let me grab it. Yeah. So you're going to want to just rub this on. 
It is out there. It is promoting. It is handing out little flyers, telling everybody on the helmet to get ready. The big, the big events coming, promoting like crazy. The street team. So I've got that on there. I've got that applied. It's still wet. We need to let it dry. Focus, camera. Focus on me. Come on, find me. Now we're we're ready for the business. So we're gonna take this. And we are going to uh, take off the 3M adhesive cover stuff to reveal the adhesive. Oh, yeah, that is some sticky, sticky stuff. I probably should have done that up close to the mic for all you ASMR freaks out there. So I'm going to put my helmet straight up and down so I can eyeball this pretty good. And we are looking to install to the center first and then work our way out. That is right where I want it. So I'm going to give that a firm press in the center and then I'm going to work my way out towards the ends. Focus camera, damn it. Just pressing down, giving it some good, good pressure. And once again, I'm just I'm going to hold that center down for like 30 seconds and then same thing for the edges. I'm just going to be applying some hard pressure here. You might see some gaps at like the top edges or the bottom edges. And the trick to filling those gaps would be to, um, you know, there's like this this triangular shape is to push on the opposite side of the triangle to get that stuff to stick to your helmet. So you would, if you have a gap on the top, you're gonna push from the bottom. If you have a gap on the bottom, you're gonna push from the top. And so we're just gonna push, pushy, push, push. And I feel pretty darn good about that. I think we're in, in pretty good shape. As far as that being on there, yep, I can I can lift it by the mount and then next up we'll be adding the camera you probably want to not mount this so that the uh screws are all both on the same side because it can look a little a little much um so they recommend flipping sides so that it doesn't look quite so extra as the kids say. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. And I'm gonna put this extension joint right in there in the opposite direction. Screw this back on. They sell on their website some um, shorter screws if you want it to look a little more sleek. I'm probably gonna end up getting that because I just don't like having this stuff all over my helmet. So we've got it on there. And then focus camera, focus. Get that camera some Adderall. And then you're just gonna put your, mount your GoPro in there. And then they say to mount it so that it's pointing up because when you ride, your chin's down, right? You're kind of like this. So this will give you the, the, the better viewing angle. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is a, ready to ride. The thing's ready to go. So let's see how it does. I am a bloated man. My jacket is tight. Well, let's go. One way. Oh no, I can see in my mirror that one of my backpack straps is jacked up. No bueno. This would be painful. I don't even know if you can see it. But it starts whipping around. It smacks me. Like it's mad at me. Make my backpack mad. Alright, let's try this again. I think that I need to go left here because there's a road that I think might be decent for what we have around here. Let's 
through this way. give us things to think of them for. So, Mr. Strickland, if you're watching us, I appreciate you thinking that this town's called Anger. It'd be pretty cool if there was, instead of a car wash, if there was like a, basically a car wash that was just a mister. So when it's hot, you could just roll through it, cool off like a amusement parks when you're standing in line they have those misters out okay is that what you can do trees over there. at this intersection. Gotta go up here and do a Yui. Yeah, I thought there was a car sneaking out back there. So that's the only thing I don't like about this route home is I gotta run up here and hang a Yui. Not a big deal. But not my favorite either. Ew, and I smell poop. All this farmland around here, there's lots of poo to smell. I 
to see Campbell? You want to see Campbell? Let's go ride through Campbell real quick. Quaint little school here in Louis Creek, North Carolina. Home of the fighting camels. Oh man, did I drive through dog crap? It reeks. Or is it fertilizer? Oh, I bet it's a fertilizer truck full of shit up there. Gross. Ooh. There we go. Alright, 25. Let's chill. Let's chill. It's cool seeing those caps and gowns. Exciting times for people. People are graduating. Excited about their future. Proud of their accomplishments. Good job. Bob Barker Hall. I know Mr. Bob Barker. He is not the game show guy. This company here in our area, in Fu based in Fuquay Verena, they make um, prison products like mattresses and stuff uh, for prisoners. And they also have the Bob Barker Foundation. And the foundation does a lot of work to fight recidivism from prisoners who uh, get out of prisoner, prison. And uh, that's, really, that's really good of them. I think that's a good cause. And here we go. That was Campbell University. There's the short stop. There's the UPS man. You know what? I'm a little bit jealous that our friends across the pond get to say Z instead of Z. Come on here, my Z900 RS Cafe. Well, cafe, hello, little goats. What you doing here? Eating some grass, I see. Yeah, so let's talk about the Z900 RS Cafe. Probably the most amazing motorcycle um, I slept I went from like New Zealand to Aussie to Brit I don't know what I'm doing truck pulling a little truck meow, meow. little truck thinks he's a big truck I mean it is a big truck but that truck's full of mirror and we're gonna go let's go Z900 RS Cafe that I really, really, really love, and I, I mean, this is kind of probably obvious, I think this is why most people love it, is, like, I, like when I park in front of my studio, I can see people stop and look at it, and take pictures of it, and the only mod I have done to this bike is put bar-in mirrors on it. Like, people think this bike is pretty, and I agree with them. They think it's special without it being modded. It's a 2024 Kawasaki that people are captivated by. And yes, it's because it's a throwback to uh, Z1s and the old uh, Z1000, Z900s of uh, yesteryear and so that's fine that's what they appreciate about it but the point is like obviously Kawasaki got it right if everybody's stopping to say what year is that bike man I think it's special just just because it's it is and it's stock I know they're not stopping to look at my stupid little bar and mirrors I mean they're cute they're pretty I like them I like them better than the big Mickey Mouse ears that were on the bike but is people think this is a pretty bike and I didn't have to do anything to it. And I don't know I can. Isn't my neighborhood just so cute? People out walking their dog, having a good time.
here's my house. I need to mow the grass. Oh yeah, you betcha. Looks like they got some rain here for sure. Right up here to the door. Oh look, it's my boy! Hey big boy! <laughs> 